The Padres now boast one of the best rosters in all of baseball. We say that proudly. Juan Soto, Josh Bell, former San Diego Padres pitcher Clay Hensley joining us now from Texas this morning, breaking down the historic trade. I feel like I, that's an understatement, right, Clay? Good morning. Well, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, I think this is probably the biggest, uh, the biggest trade in baseball history. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of what people were talking about yesterday. It's not just for the Padres, for sure for the Padres organization, but just overall the scope of this trade, the, the, the talent going to Washington, the talent coming here. I think it's a win-win for both teams, would you say? Well, it remains to be seen. You know how they always say, usually the guy or the team that, uh, you know, lands the, the big player, if they don't win a championship, you know, when they, when they have that type of player, a generational type player, uh, within the you know the three or the five years after they they make that trade, they always kind of say that you know the the team that got them ends up being the bust. Right. So it remains to be seen, but uh, I think that uh, with the lineup now, uh, the way it's shaked out and uh, are shaking out in uh, the moves that uh, you know San Diego made, I, I think that it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun baseball to watch there in San Diego. Yeah, when you get a guy like Juan Soto, I mean obviously of his caliber, only 23 years old, already has that World Series experience. He's been on that stage and thrived. We know what he did in that World Series for the Nationals. What does he do for the Padres, for the fans, for the cities in terms of all uh, his impact? <laughs> well, I think he's going to do exactly the same, if not more. I mean, here's the deal. They, uh, the, the San Diego Padres making this trade uh, for Juan Soto, a generational type player, again, uh, at a young age. And, and the benefit of this trade is that A.J. Perler and, 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 and the San Diego Brass, they had the system and, and the players in place that Washington wanted and were yeah. able to trade. Uh, you know, there were other teams out there that probably could have made this trade. Los Angeles could have. St. Louis probably sure. could have. But the players, uh, the players that, uh, you know, San Diego was willing to cough up on this, uh, it was what made sense for them. Now, what's interesting about this trade is, is this completely reshapes the top lineup, the top of the lineup for the San Diego Padres. Uh, you know, with Tatis coming off in a couple weeks being ready, um, you know, and having, having Juan Soto there, and yeah. Bell now, you know, likely going to bat fourth in the lineup. Uh, you know, for any prospect or for any young pitcher out there, uh, even veteran as well, facing this lineup two and three times, it's going to be a tall task. You think Tatis uh, made a couple phone calls to his buddy? Because we learned yesterday they played baseball in the Dominican since they were 15. Do you think that a little somewhere in the back of their mind, like, hey, wouldn't it be great if we played together? I, I think that there's probably, uh, you know, a little uh, nudging in the right yeah, direction, yeah. you know. And I think, you know, it's always fun whenever you get to play with guys that you play with, you know, whether you're playing at home. And, you know, these guys have such close oh, relationships yeah. when they go back. And, and the thing is, is, um, you know, the San Diego Padres have been a very exciting team to watch play baseball. And I think that uh, this just adds to it. And it's just really going to be good for, I think, overall right. the city. Um, you know, the city's been looking for a team like this that actually has a real shot at making it. And I think that they gave up yeah. the farm in order to do so. And I think it, it says it, it speaks volumes for, uh, you know, the player development system in the San Diego Padres. Because they feel that they're going to continue to manufacture these prospects out of their, out of their yeah. current system, which I do believe is probably the case. Uh, you know, not just Juan Soto. Let's not forget. I mean, even though the Padres had to give up seven players, uh, we got Josh Bell, which I didn't even realize that was going to be part of the thing. This guy's hitting 301 with 14 home runs. So that's like a guy that you get on a trade by himself and you'd be happy. <laughs> Without a doubt. You know, I mean, so land those two guys. And this was kind of a late, one, late, late addition to it. But here's the deal. This guy's probably going to be back for for the San Diego Padres. Yeah. So you just can just imagine at the top of the lineup when you have a uh, – you know, a guy that's compared to Ted Williams, you know, Willie Mays and all, those, and all the other greats that were traded at some point in their career, Henry Aaron, Mike Trout as well in 2014. you got to figure that this is going to be uh, one through five is going to be pretty tough. And what yeah. that also does, though, is that provides so much protection to the bottom half of the lineup because guys are going to be throwing pitches to guys, uh, you know, in the bottom half of the lineup because they're not going to want to get to this top, this yeah. top side of the lineup. I mean, you're good. as a pitcher, you know, when you see that's coming around the corner for the second round, uh, you start to pitch uh, the guys differently. And, and they, they provide a lot of protection now to spread out through the entire lineup, which is going right. to be interesting to watch. In, in, the, in the short time we got left, Taylor Rogers is out. Josh Hader, we got like literally the best closer in baseball the last couple of years. What is that going to mean? Hey, it's going to mean more of probably what you saw uh, the other night uh, against the Rockies, more wins and uh, yep. him coming in and shutting the door, one, two, three. Joe Musgrove, five years, $100 million. well-deserved. Padres wanted that. Yeah, right, well-deserved for sure, for sure.
Uh, we're happy for Joe Musgrove, local guy. Before we let you go, talk to me about what the atmosphere at Petco Park is going to be like tonight. It's sold out. Oh, by the way, look, and they're giving away on top of like you needed more motivation. They're look, I, I, always upside down. They're giving well, away like the cool <laughs> hoodie, dude. I mean, what the heck? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. It's gonna. It's it, it, San Diego baseball has. Yeah. Uh, you know, when it was already turning a chapter. Right. It's turned a new chapter for the long haul, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and the city needs it. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to watch it myself. Get Tatis back, too. I mean, can he come back? Hey, come on. Hey, everybody needs a little flashback in that lineup, baby. Dude, uh, <laughs> it's exciting. Uh, Clay, always a pleasure talking with you. It's fun to be a San Diego Padres fan these days. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate it, guys. All right, my man. We'll talk to you next time. Coming up here on Fox 5.